Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How are you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, Belsif. Today on the Belsif Show, we're going to pull the inner fender well out of the old Chevy here. They're not that bad, but I say why not just put new ones in it. That's what I say. That way we can get it apart, clean all this frame, and paint her up, Captain. So I'm going to set you back here, and you're going to see what's all involved in removing this, which ain't much. I don't think. It's been a long time since I did it, but I'm sure I can figure it out. So we'll take this and we'll take this one out. Remember, go back and forth. It feels like it might break. One. Break. Two. We're drilling that one out, Jim. That one broke real easy. Oh, wait. What happened? Different size. Let's go over here and break this one off. Different size again. So we're gonna switch up. That really sucks I broke that off that fast. See what I mean by it doesn't take much, eh? Just a little bit of torque from the old Torque Master 1000 there. And she's deckered. A little overkill on me. Hey, careful. A little over torque at zero with the old 10, 20,000 there foot pound torquer guy there. She just cocked us right over, she did. Told you she just snapped shit right off. I don't even think it tried, just snapped it off. Let's put that aside. Or we'll be snapping more off. Where the Frank, must be in the truck. Captain? Sure is. I see you hiding over there. I guess this thing's even gonna move them, but we'll try, because that's what we do. We try. So let's give her half throttle with the old ding dong here and see what happens. Oh, dick. Not looking good, Jim. Hand bomber. Not bad. Ooh, kinda. Oh, dear God, boys. This is gonna be time consuming. This is what it is. So we get that one loose. Oh, you get that one loose. Oh, 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 we need some penetrating oil. Little El Squirto. There you go, hey? I don't know if I got it or not. It's close. So now that we did that, let's see if we can rat a tad pat it. Not good. Oh, we got one. We're doing good. We got one. Can you see? Because I can't. Oh, dick. No, oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Frig. Frig sakes. Let's try this one over here. Oh, that one feels okay. That one's good. That one's good. It's always the ones right behind the tire that are the worst. That's where they catch all the goop, eh? Oh, not bad. That one's good. That one feels not bad. And as we go back, we get worse. Actually, that one's good. Did I get that one loose? There I did. All right. I can't see because you're right in my way. Holy dex, that light's bright. Wow. Put her over here, Captain. Okay, we have two there, dicks. Oh, no. We got some spinners, we do. Spinners are not good. Has a second thought to change these inner fender wells already. Careful. Oh, fake. Tell them we're gonna have to cut that many of them off. They shouldn't be turning like that. Okay, well, we're gonna have to get a zip disc in there and cut them out. Unless I get to them somehow, I doubt, but we're gonna take a look here. Where the hell is my doodad? Here it is. It's not the fender that's rotten, boys. It's a, a stupid little clip that comes on them. They're just spinning near the air. Hey. Well, I can't get in there. No, oh, but dicks. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut them out, man. Son of a bitch. Last thing I wanna do is cut them out. But what do you do? When you have to do it, you have to do it. That's the way I look at it. Are you watching? Probably not. What the f I can't see dick. This light is cocked. Blind to death. Oh my god, it's gotta be right behind the thing. Oh my god. Captain, our lighter. Yeah, well, there's half of it. I know a guy. I know a guy. They say, not an easy one to get to. At all. There we go. We got that one done with minimal damage. See? Probably not, because it just sprayed you in dicks. Anyways, we're going to continue to cut this out before I wreck my camera. I'll cut these off. And then we'll go from there. All right, so I got them grayed out, which wasn't too bad. It's a little bit of a bitch, but hey, some things have to fight you a little bit or it's not life. It should come out now, I think. We're pretty close, unless I forgot one, which I could have because, you know, that's what I do sometimes. I think it's this one here we're hung up on. Get it up there. Yeah, see, we're still hung up on one up here. See, I premature turned the camera back on, but you can watch me try to wrestle that thing out of there because i'm getting pretty good at it right now where the hell's my damn grinder gone what the fuck? here it is Put the whole grinding wheel to get this thing out just so you know oh, that one's 
it's just not letting go. It doesn't want to. It's saying, fuck you, Jim. Like, it, it, it doesn't want to. There it goes. It's had a poke at it a little bit. So now that we got that out, we got to kind of go, ah, somehow. Now, I know that somebody told me how to, but I can't remember, TJ, so you're just going to have to bear with me here, but I'll figure it out. Can't do that freaking hard. So if you come down, if you come up, if you go in, if you go down, if you move around a little bit, maybe something might happen. You have to go this way, do I? There you go, TJ. See, I told you to figure it out. There you go, bud. Inner fender well out. What does it look like in here? Not too fucking bad at all. I'm glad I took them out because now I can clean up the rust in here and paint it. We'll put some more speed nuts in there and it doesn't look like it damaged the truck and we'll be golden. How you doing up there, Mr. Hood? Friggin' right, so we'll have to get that one out and we'll just weld the nut behind there. That's what I'll probably end up doing with that, which is no big deal at all, Captain. See, we can get this stuff done together, we can, if we just sit back and think about it. Where's my packler? I'll show you how the packler works. So if we take the packler, we got one bad spot right there, which is no big friggin' deal. Actually, it's still metal under there. Whoever said these things don't work, they must not be using them right. Maybe you're taking light rust off, it is. There's definitely two layers of metal there. That is not floor. Good. That's awesome. Now, if you have a headache, I wouldn't suggest using this tool on the day you have a headache like I do right now, because I'm going to have to stop. Just look at it, though. It works so damn good. I see that when I looked at it, I was like, what the hell is that going on there? But really, it's not too bad. Here, let me get down here with you and we'll take another look at it. Ow! Give it a little hand right here, okay? Got a little bit of tar right here. You won't even know that's there when I'm done. I'll clean that up so nice. Friggin' right I will. Man, oh man, you know what? This thing ain't bad at all. Oh, hey. Clean that edge up a little bit on the sill there and give that a little paint. See little stone chips along here, which is normal, but not too bad. Holy, not too bad at all. That's what you need to buy yourself. One of them right there. Friggin' right you do. That just shakes everything apart. We're doing all right. We'll get that all cleaned off, paint the frame all the way along here, paint all the control arms and stuff like this and that and the other fucking thing, and she'll be fucking golden. Swearing too much. Stop swearing or we'll get delaminated. Whatever you call that. She even cleans up plate calibers. Figure that one out. She needs new shocks, Jim. <laughs> He's putting them in. <laughs> yeah, we'll put some new shocks on her. Other than that, that might conclude this video. I just wanted to, you know, hold on, let me clean you off. I just wanted to, you know, bring you along here to take an inner fender well out on a square body Chevy pickup truck. That's how they come out. You might have to do some grinding if yours is older than mine. You'd probably grind every one of them. But hey, it is what it is. That's what we get into when we're into old vehicles like this. But it's fun to do. So we got that out. We're gonna clean all that up, grind it up, order up some new fender wells, which are back order right now. They're still on a ship, I guess. We'll order some of them up, get them coming. Not have them before too long, even though I get all winter, so it doesn't matter how long they take to get here, but at least we on a start here. We're, we're, getting, we're doing pretty good here, we are. I did call that place back last night and order blue, try to get them to change the blue carpet because gray carpet is too much involved in changing everything. I don't wanna do it. I just don't want to do it, Jim. There you go, hey. What do you think of that? Pretty decent. Factory headers, boys. She got headers on her already. Very <laughs> right. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button if you like this kind of stuff. Hopefully you're enjoying it like I am, because I am enjoying this. I like doing this kind of stuff. We're going to clean up, take an Advil, try to get rid of this headache, and then maybe come back out later and do some grinding. It depends on the headache it goes away, Jim. I love you all. Glad you're all here. It's getting a little cold in here, as you can tell by my breath. Other than that, things are great. So guess what? You know what to do for now.